gratitude greetings i'm super happy and charged you know why i'm sitting in front of a great educationist a super leader a vice principal author of five books a record holder amazon best seller and what not the list goes on a girl with the big dreams a leader with big dreams a visionary who's just 28 years old i'm sorry for revealing your age welcome kavalpreet <laughs> welcome sir thank you you are a super achiever please tell us your secret thank you so much for this opportunity i'm so loved and honored like interviewed by you and the amazing sensors so uh, uh, starting my journey it was during uh, 2017 when i achieved msc botany gold medalist university top up so i was governor's wow. awardee then so i tried to convince my parents that i wanted to go for civil services preparation so two years two years of hard work i did all the preparation and other things but somehow could i get success and uh, then my mom got an heart stroke and i had to return back with my heart preparation so i didn't uh, couldn't continue my preparation but by god grace i just got an opportunity to work as vice principal then so i was like uh, moving ahead with a very rural background with very uh, poor kids actually uh, they were like the rickshaw wala kids and other things they were like, many of the kids were some some of the kids whom i was paying the fees to so that they can get the admission and they can have the best education so being a vice principal i was like trying to give or the best of the best education which they can get afterwards uh, in during the corona i had a long back uh, wish to become a writer so i started writing the books so my first book killer when the times of corona virus uh, is amazon's best seller we have sold around 25 lakh copies so uh, it was then uh it is it is basically a romantic story i believe everybody who has that feelings of feeling of love will definitely cry after reading that book i have written that book with full of emotions and everybody who read it cries at least once so that was my sole intention to make everyone cry whoever reads the book the love. and then my <laughs> my second book was the dark love and then i continued writing my books my last book uh, like the fifth book was the dark secrets of 365 days so i somehow managed to get 16 international authors to the book get the contract signed and then we were working on it and so we also had like golden book of world records records of highest nationalities in a single book so i was being awarded as a golden book of uh, world records so i am a record holder too so i didn't stop then i started working uh, like i moved, i got an interest of madhubani paintings and mandala dot paintings then i started paintings and other things so i did the courses of painting and i didn't stop there too then i moved towards child psychology certification and other things so i did 22 diplomas in depression and healing grief counseling child psychology dealing with the students and other things so i had 22 diplomas too and then i uh, And recently, I have completed a postgraduate diploma in school administration and principalship. Uh, I switched on because I was getting new opportunity. So I got an opportunity again to become a vice principal in the Lawrence Public School. So this was all like the it, it turned out to be like one step ahead, one step ahead. Everything was like destiny plan. Like this will happen first, this will happen second, this will happen third. So it was all pre planned. So this is how everything changed in just. a matter of time i believe wow so is one word intention <laughs> was uh, in inside and out my prime intention was to serve the children especially the needy one so i being a, from an education background with 9 years of vast experience in administration so my prime agenda was to target the rural people rural area people the students who have that uh, guts that have willingness to study and like to give them a bright future few of my students i believe uh, which i have taught long back in 2013 14 are now in air force and few are being a become, become a doctor and when they call me and they say ma'am aap waisi ki waisi reh gayi and see we are in air force and i'm like oh my god <laughs> so i was uh, i was 19 when i started teaching them so now they are in air force and i'm still a vice principal <laughs> so that makes me wow 
So that are the students which I help long back. I I truly believe in karma, you know. So whatever you give back, give back to you. So this is how I was associated with this all. I have also been associated with with an NGO of dogs. So I worked there uh, with the Smile NGO for three months. So we have seen pathetic situation of human cruelties there. How they have been treating animals and other things. That that's the real face of the world where you see a dog be beaten up to death by the people. Uh, it makes you feel what a world we are living in. But now that was all the part of me. So I have been away in the various fields too. So I was like an NGO worker too. <laughs> So this is all vast areas I have worked in, and still yes. uh, I believe that I will be exploring more and more in upcoming years. Truly, truly, you have blessings of parents, blessings of mom, dad, blessings of all the students, and blessings of so many living beings who you serve selflessly. What are your top three values? My top three values are first service, be very helping, whomsoever you can help, you should. And my mom always taught me like never be a beggar. Your hand should never be open like this. You should be always like this. be a giver. Don't be a beggar. So my first value is like giving, being uh, helpful wherever I do. If I could help you, I will definitely do it. That's my first value. Second is uh, purity, purity and humanity. I would say. Like that is the prime thing I look upon to anybody. Humanity. There should be humanity. We all are humans. We have to be like living and living together. So there should be humanity towards animal and uh, people. Every creature that is being born by God. The third is uh, love. So love each other. Be uh, be very kind to each other. That's the prime. Thing. So beautiful. Giving, giving, giving. All great leaders are givers. Oprah Winfrey or Maya Angelou or Dr. Kiran Bedi. Yes, I see all three in you with love, purity and giving. Now, you spoke about your future plans to serve, serve, serve and serve the poor, serve the needy, serve them who have less. And that is why God has sent us. So what is your relationship with God? My future plans? Um, I see, I... Being a very uh, diverse sort of personality, my future plan is only to be like associated with some kind of uh, working culture, some kind of education sector that actually has a serving background. It serves poor and like fulfills the dreams of many. So uh, I just I'm just looking up to a service ground actually. I yes. That, and then starting up and like settling up my own uh, thing, you know. So to be a name that people remember. Yes. I know her. Yes, serving people is serving God. So, do you believe in God? Yes, I definitely believe in God. I have like a, my own, my own set of feelings with God. When I, I don't usually pray regularly, but whenever there are problems, I'm like, "What oh God? You are doing this to me again?" Like it's like. It's like it's, it's gone like that because he listens yeah. to me and they're having a very friendly sort of relationship. Yes. Whenever yes. something good happens, I'm like, thank you, thank you God. Thank you for everything. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a part for me. Um, this, I truly believe in him. He will true, always do true. It. Yes. So relationship with God is not about just closing your eyes and sitting in one place. It's about serving. Yes. And when we are young, like me and you, we should keep serving. <laughs> what is the secret of your smile? <laughs> it's like the good vibes that people give me, I smile. <laughs> Very nice. Because what is life in one word? <laughs> exactly. Uh, the people I'm surrounded with, with gives me beautiful smiles. Basically, I'm talking to you right now. The positive aura is giving me smile. <laughs> okay, great. Now we'll have one word answers. Huh? Life in one word. Awesome. Happiness in one word. Yes. Stop. <laughs> Love in one word. Feelings. Emotions. God in one word. Purity. Simran in one word. Friendly. <laughs> I like that. Friendly. Yes. All teachers. 
need to work on their relationship first. If we have a great relationship with children, I'm sure our children are going to love us and they're going to be open to learn from us. And that is a quality of a great teacher. And that's what Simran is. Thank you so much, Simran, for being on the show. It was great talking to you, hearing your great views, inspiring views, unique thoughts, big dreams, and selfless ones. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Take care. All the best. <laughs>